Hey guys, it's me Elise and I'm back with another video. So this time I decided to pick up some hair from Eunice Hair and I did previously review this company, I wanna say maybe over a year ago, it's been some time, but I did love their hair the first time around. So I decided to give them a try again because I'm sure I'm gonna love it this time around as well. Um, but this time I decided to pick up their Indian curly hair and um, I did pick up four bundles and a frontal in the lengths 224s, a 22, a 20, and a 16 inch frontal. I did construct a wig utilizing the hair and that is pretty much the purpose of this video today. I'm gonna go through the process and let you guys see exactly how I make my wigs because I know a lot of you guys are new subscribers and you guys are like, well, how do you make your wigs? And I do have other videos showcasing how I make them but it doesn't hurt to make an updated video so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys today um, so here's what you're going to need in order to make your wig of course you're going to need a canvas block I have mine in the 22 inch size however they do have um, a variety of different sizes and I will leave links on where you guys can pick up these items down below so check there you're also gonna need a table support clamp in order to hold your canvas block up. You're gonna need a mesh wig cap. This is what it looks like. Now I used to use dome caps, but not anymore. You're also gonna need some weaving thread, T-pins, as well as a curved sewing needle. I also have some cutting shears as well as a parting comb. I also picked this up from the same company that I got my canvas block from. Again, I will have the information located down below, so check there, as well as a pair of good tweezers, okay? So first, I'm gonna go ahead and take my mesh wig cap and put it onto my canvas block. And as you guys can see, I do have the table support clamp supported onto like one of those little TV trays you get from Walmart. I think it's like a pack of two for like 20 bucks. But yeah, I'll leave a link below in case you guys want to know. Um, so now I'm just um, pinning my front sole onto my um, wig cap. And you're going to want to kind of, if you're new to this, you do want to measure your head. See, I've been doing this for some years now, so I kind of know where to pin it at. But again, just measure your head if you're not for sure. So now starting from the corner, some people like to start from the middle and work your way outward. I like to start from one side and work my way to the other. It just makes it a whole lot easier for myself, but I am just sewing down the front one now and I'm just knotting with each pass of the needle going through the front sew and going through the mesh cap. You guys kind of get the gist. I'm gonna speed things up to make things go a lot quicker. But again, I'm just sewing down my front sole. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna let you guys see how I sew on my bundles. So here are my bundles. I'm gonna start off using my two longest lengths, which are the 24 inches. And I like to keep the bundles folded in half, um, double up the tracks because it makes the back section a lot thicker. And now I'm just going to um, pin that down to the areas in the back, going from the edge of the frontal to the other edge of the frontal, just pretty much the complete back. Um, and I'm just gonna sew um, going from one side to the other, again, knotting with each pass. It really does help secure the bundles um, tightly. So therefore, in case something were to happen to where your thread breaks, your bundles aren't gonna come unraveling down. They're it's still gonna be pretty secure. Um, but once I get to the opposite side, I'm just going to fold over the bundles and rework my way down the length of the wig cap that makes any sense i don't even know how to really explain this i've been doing this for so many years and i don't even know how to explain this um but yeah you guys kind of get the gist i'm pretty much just sewing down the bundles going from left to right right to left um and repeating it just until all the hair is done um so again i'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing down my bundles and i'll see you guys once i reach the top
So now that I'm at the very top, this is very important for me at least, um, you're going to want to sew your tracks and attach it to the frontal. This is going to prevent any gaps, so therefore if the wind were to blow or if you decide to wear your hair up in the top knot, you're not going to see any open gaps that's going to make the whole style detectable. Again, just want to sew that final track onto the frontal, just attach it, um, yeah. So pretty much we are all finished and this is what the completed wig looks like. That excess cap underneath the lace, you don't need it. So you're gonna go ahead and use a good pair of fabric scissors and just cut that off. And I say fabric scissors, therefore it's not going to um, fray the wig part that you know you sewed onto. Um, so again, use a pair of good fabric scissors and yeah. So now we are going to go ahead and get rid of that lace and kind of fix up the hairline since I do notice that on the frontal, the hairline is rather dense and it's not really appealing. Doesn't look natural, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that up. So right now I'm just gathering up the hair and putting it back in the rubber band. I'm gonna take those um, hair cutting shears and just go ahead and trim off that lace. And I do um, want to highly suggest that you guys use cutting shears to cut off the lace because it just makes it flawless. It's a flawless cut. You're not going to mess up the front perimeter of your hairline or anything like that. It just really cuts nicely. So I just parted off a section of where I want my baby hairs to be at since this wig they didn't have any. Um, so I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm just thinning it out a bit since our hairline isn't dense in the front. So my wig hairline is gonna be dense either. So I'm just um, tweezing out some of those hairs to thin it out some. Then you're gonna take those shears and just cut wherever you want your baby hairs to be at. I like to leave mine a little long so therefore I can go in and cut it once the wig's on my head, but to each his own. So here's the wig. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't wash it and bleach the knots. I didn't do anything at all. Um, I just wanna let you guys see exactly what the hair looks like if you weren't going to do anything with it. And it's really nice, straight out the pack. Like you can just literally make the wig and go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wig on and I'm just going to fix up the baby hairs. I don't know about you guys, but I don't use edge control anymore. Gel works perfectly fine. So I'm taking my extreme wet line gel and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my baby hairs. So now I'm gonna go in with some of this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, and I believe that this is in dark, I think, or deep. I don't know. This is old. This is the old one. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and go in the parting area just to help um, bring out that parting space since, again, I didn't bleach the knots or anything. So you kind of want that part to pop and look natural. So just with my fingers, I'm going to go ahead and pull apart the curls. I'm going to go in with the brush and kind of help frizz out the curls a bit because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like perfect curls. I love a little frizz because a little frizz don't hurt nobody and it looks natural almost like you grew it yourself so just using my fingers and a brush and a comb I'm just gonna go ahead and work that hair out until I get it to where I like it So now I'm just taking some of this foamy wrapping mousse around the parting area and I'm just gonna go ahead and just sort of lay down some of those hairs to you know, get rid of that bulkiness. And if you frizz out your hair a little more than what you really want it, I highly suggest that you guys have a bottle of water handy because it works. It's gonna help redefine those curls. And there you have it. Now I know that my hair is looking a little crazy on top, but it's probably because the light is behind me. You know, we just moved in this house and I'm just trying to figure out where is the best lighting in this house and I just can't really find it. So right now we're kind of in the process of just figuring things out. Um, but yeah, I get into this hair, you guys. I love it. It's so fall. It's so fall. I'm going to be wearing this hair during the winter time. It's still too hot right now where I live at. Um, so I'm going to probably put it away just until it cools down some. But once fall time hits and it starts to cool down, 
yeah this is gonna be my go-to hair piece but i'm absolutely loving it um so you guys do check out uni's hair and i'll have all the information provided down below as well as bang good bang good is where i got all my supplies from and i'll have the links provided in the description box as well um let me know what you guys think or if this video was helpful and i'll talk to you guys on the next video bye guys Oh, oh, oh.